Now that I have defeated the weeds in the front yard garden, I have to defeat the weeds on the outside of the garden. Meaning like, well I'll show you. Spots like this. And here we have some wonderful Black Eyed Susans growing. But there are also some weeds around them. <laughs> And then I started on the front yard flower border, weeding that. But as you can see, I have a lot more to go. <laughs> and then I can think about getting those seeds planted for my bees, my crimson clover, my wildflower seeds. So let's do this. I really, really wish you were here helping me. Yeah, this is one time that yeah, you guys could all join me on my home set and I'd be really excited about that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, you guys, I'm all done. Yay. And look, I found a beautiful little treasure. Some strawberries. We had done a strawberry pot right there. And sadly, the strawberries just couldn't take the summer heat. The strawberries are hard to grow in Dallas, Texas because of that. And so I moved my strawberry pot up by my door so it'll be partial shade, keep a really good eye on it, give it rain water. Strawberries seem to really like that. They don't like all the harsh stuff in our water and hopefully we're gonna get some strawberries again so I did these by seed the first time and thank goodness the runners came down and spread into the garden a bit so I'm gonna dig those up now and transplant them into my strawberry pot love it when you find treasure that comes up by accident <laughs> Isn't this a beautiful strawberry pot, you guys? The wild one got me this for Christmas, so I definitely want to revive it and get strawberries back in it. Good thing I found my garden treasure. Put some fertilizer in, mealworm frass. And just like that, we're back in the strawberries again. Yay, what a great find. These are, I started by seed Attila from Baker's Creek Heirloom Seeds and Fresca Strawberry. So who knows what kind this is. Definitely spread good by runners, so we will see. They're kind of an alpine strawberry. So we'll see what they, what they come out like. Good. I think I have a much better chance of keeping them alive here, right by my front door, where I can really keep my eye on them. And in the afternoon, they'll have shade. So, I think they'll do better. Cross your fingers, you guys. Strawberries in Texas, not the easiest thing, but well worth it. <laughs> <coughs> I'm so excited this year because my friend and neighbor down the street, Catherine and Andy, they gave me these honeybee buffet flowers, wildflowers. So that's really fun. I'm excited about those. I'm gonna plant them now. So it's a good thing I got those weeds up and now the earth is ready for wildflowers. And then I have sunflowers already coming up. Once you establish a bee buffet, it just kind of comes up on its own the next year. So that's super fun. long time ago the prophet really stuck with me on a hard project and that was pulling up this big bush we had in the front of the house by the roots um, so that we could have a blueberry and a strawberry bed and that's what I promised him and he was so excited about those blueberries well we really just never could afford to do that so now is the time and the day that we're gonna start and get this blueberry strawberry bed going, finally. 
sometimes you have to wait for it. But isn't it just even the sweeter when you finally do do it <laughs> or get it? <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh. Wake up. Hey, do you want to build that blueberry bed I've been talking about today? Uh, what? <laughs> The blueberry and strawberry bed I've been talking about? What do you think about doing that today? Are you feeling okay? <laughs> yup. Today's the day. Eileen! We went to Living Earth Technologies to get our mix for our blueberry bed. Here in Dallas, Texas, we have a really alkaline soil and blueberries really like an acid mix. And so they had that at Living Earth Technologies specially made up for you. So that's great. So we're gonna take advantage of that. They were super friendly and they also have a res raised bed veggie mix that you can get. So I highly recommend them if you're starting your garden this spring for the first time, your raised beds for the first time, then borrow someone's truck if you don't have one and go get some veggie mix. I'm not affiliated with them at all. They were just super friendly and helped me out. So I want to shout out to them. We're ready to get our mix. We're getting blueberries. <laughs> it's going to be so fun. <laughs> Got a half so yard of the fun. acid mix. The azalea. The azalea mix. It's a cool tractor. Mm -hmm. Oh look, he's gonna get our mix from there. Cool. Out the another big pile of mix. like a fun job, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna do that job when I grow up. Ooh, wow. <laughs> it's heavy, huh? Mom is planting blueberries, so that's pretty nice. We're both planting blueberries. Yes, we're both planting blueberries. You're gonna help, aren't ya? Um. <laughs> of course I am. Our blueberry bed is taking shape. And just like that, we're finally ready for blueberries, you guys. It just, just lacked a little bit on the end. It filled up a lot more than they thought it would. Now to go research the best type of blueberries for this area. Hey you guys, I have talked to you before about strawberries being a fall thing here in Dallas, Texas. Um, they do a lot better if you're planted in the fall, nurtured through the winter. They really love the cool weather. And then they bear fruit in spring. And they have a really tough time getting through the hot summers here. But it's really hard to find strawberries in fall because most everyone in the country is thinking strawberries in spring. <laughs> Same with blueberries. So. I'm gonna go ahead and do them in spring, make the blueberry and the strawberry bed in spring, and um, kind of nurture them through, give them only rainwater. Strawberries really like that rainwater, and try to get them through the hot summer months and keep them as a perennial. So I'll, I'll let you know how I do. It's not the easiest thing to do here in Dallas, Texas. Um, I came up with some varieties that are really good for Dallas, Texas and that is Sequoia and Seascape. And then Chandler is one that's a bit easier to find. So I ordered mine bare root, 
about 20 strawberry plants. I'm so excited. I'll leave a link in the description, the video description, um, telling you where I got mine from. They have fabulous sale right now, but they kind of did get you on the shipping. So it kind of evened out with some other companies. So that was a little disappointing, but anyway. Um, and then blueberry varieties. Come see our new blueberry bed that me and the prophet did. If you're new to this channel, um, I call a nickname my son the prophet not because he has such a not so in tune with God so to speak but because when I was doing the community garden which was my first experience gardening my classroom if you will um, where I learned how to grow my own food all my friends would see me coming with him in my wagon and they would say um, hey here here comes the prophet because his name is Elijah so <laughs> that's why we call him that just for fun anyway come see our new strawberry blueberry bed and hear about the blueberries that I'm gonna plant there. Here it is. Look at this, you guys. I got an acid mix from Living Earth Technologies. Looks really good, I'm really pleased with it. The blueberry varieties that I chose that are gonna do really well for me, I think, are Sunshine Blueberry, I'm bountiful blueberry and the reason I chose them is they have really low chill hours for my area so and they also stay really small they stay three to four feet wide and tall so I think they'll be the perfect thing for this bed they'll be kind of an ornamental and bearing fruit hopefully and they have beautiful burgundy foliage in the fall and of course flowers in the springtime um, before they put on berries. So I'm super excited about that. And we're also gonna do strawberries kind of in front of them. This is gonna be our strawberry blueberry bed that the prophet has been wanting for years. So we're super excited. Maybe you are gonna join me and do a strawberry blueberry bed this year. I hope we both have blueberries and strawberries in our future. <laughs> it was a big week for the Miller family. Guess what the prophet learned to do? Woo, good job. It is also a big week for us here at Bloom Where You're Planted because my blog went back up live. It has been in the capable hands of an angel. <laughs> That's Angel Hargrave from Sweet Beats Design. Yeah, her name is literally Angel. God gave me an angel to work over my site. I'm so thankful. She brought it all together and gave me a logo and a color palette and really made it really easy for me to have fun blogging and teaching other people how to grow their own food. So I'm really big shout out to her. And if you need the help of an angel, for a site you're doing or a blog you want to start, I will leave a link in the description. Definitely go and check her out. She's an amazing lady. Um, so yeah, you guys go check out my blog, my new look. A lot of you guys watch my channel and don't know that I have a blog, but I do a lot on there. And if you ever want to have a recipe in writing and be able to print it out, then I always send you to there. So yeah, I'll leave a link in the description for my blog so you can go check out my new look that Angel gave me. I find that it's so important to celebrate those victories, especially in uncertain times like these. All right, you guys, bye now.